Look! A 40-foot marble! There. Oh, I think, uh... Oh, no, never mind. I don't see anything. one of these dance lesson coupons. Another ride. Sure, any time. A coupon for a free dance lesson? Free? Great! Hey, there's a phone number at the bottom. I'll give him a call right now. Hello, I'm calling about free dance lessons. Oh, great! Well, there's a lot of us. It might be better if you came here. Stand back? <laughs> what are you... Yeah! Hello! Wow! Great trick! Yeah! My, my, we do have work to do. All right, listen up, everyone. Grab a partner. We're going to learn to woo. Now watch out. Do as we do. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, lady coming through. Good heavens. I thought I was never going to get out of there. Young people have no respect these days. Except for you, of course, young man. You really helped me by getting them to stop that horrible jumping. A jam of jam always helps those in need. Well, that's good. I'd love to stay and dance, but I've got to be off now. They'll need me at the peace conference. Goodbye and thank you. Bye. Okay, that's two down, two to go. A plunger, huh? Well, you must be a plumber then if you got that. Hey, guys, look at this fella's plunger. Yeah, that's a real nice plunger. Real nice. Yeah, it's always nice to meet a fellow plumber. Folks call me scissors. This is paper. And that's rock over there. I'm Pajama Sam. It's a pleasure, Sam. Likewise. Yeah. Anything you need, you just ask. Okay, thanks. Do you think I could use that wrench for a while? Sure, Sam. Yes, we're all plumbers here. Thanks.
shall we? Let's shall. Another job well done by Handyman Sam! Here you go, you little thirsty cauliflower. Boy, cauliflowers sure grow fast around here. Girls, maybe we can find some sun someplace else. Whoa, there go the cupcakes, dude. Bummer. What are we going to do now? Work out some more. What else? Yeah, all right. The wheel it turns! Ah, the romance! How I miss now the beautiful eclair! Well done! You have completed the rescuing of me, and only with a slight bruising. You have the sincere thanks of Pierre Lupin. You're welcome. Now you'd better get to that peace conference right away. So true. I will make the utmost of haste. Again, thank you, and goodbye. Bye! <coughs> That's three down, only one more to go. Shall we? Let's shall. Touch that. Okay. That is the fabled horn of celebration. It is blown only when I reach the answer to a question I have been pondering. I see. That horn looks pretty loud. Oh, it is. I like it a lot. I'm Sam. I am called Syllabus the Sage. For reasons I cannot fathom. Fathom? I sit here atop Mount Wisdom and ponder the deeper mysteries of the universe. 
What are you pondering right now? I am considering the nature of cheese. Oh, I like cheese. Well then, perhaps you will be able to help me find the answer to the great three-part question of the nature of cheese. What are the three parts of the question? First, I must know which fork at the table is the cheese fork. Hey, I know that one! The cheese fork is the one that gets brought with the cheese. Excellent. It is elegant in its simplicity. Well then, let us move on. The second part of the question is this. What sort of cheese is the moon made of? Oh boy, that's easy. I saw it through the telescope. It's Monterey Jack. Amazing! A telescope! Why didn't I think of that? The last part is perhaps the most important. What sort of cheese is the best to put in a cheese sandwich? Oh, I know. The plumber told me monster cheese is the best. Of course. Plumbers are renowned for their excellent taste in cheese sandwiches. Well, this is fabulous. You've helped me to answer all the parts of the great question of the nature of cheese. You are a wise young man, Sam. Thank you. And now, for my favorite part. We get to eat some cheese? No, we get to blow the horn of celebration. I do it every time I get the answer to one of my questions. Since you helped me so much, perhaps you would like to do the honors. Oh boy, would I? <gasps> Oh no! Not again! Wow! Say, kid, great plan. You really helped me out of a jam here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd stick around and swap stories with you, but I've got to get to that peace conference pronto. See you around, Sam. Bye! Well, I guess we gotta start the hole over again. Let's take a break first. Good idea. Come on, everybody. Break time. I think that's all the delegates. I'd better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead! Shrub! Entre! Loaf! Pablum! Grub! Mercel! Gobbit! Tidbit! Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting! This means war! No, no it doesn't. You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich, which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say right. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. And there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream. Mm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and 
a lollipop sandwich. The kid's got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Cooperation. Why this means means I'm. Um, Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh. I forgot. Are you sure you want to leave? 